In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the latest backlash to the latest episode and Broken Promises on Inside Xbox. So stick around. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me here today. Now, as of the recording of this video, the latest episode of Inside Xbox has aired, and as you can see here, we have it here on the screen. The title of it is Inside Xbox Presents First Look at Xbox Series X Gameplay Live. Now, what would you, as a viewer, expect looking at a title like that? You would expect gameplay, correct? Well, unfortunately, that's not really what they have shown. Let's go ahead and take a look here. The video has over a million views right now. It's sitting at 35k dislikes and 43k thumbs ups. And from what I understand, just from looking at the comments earlier, they are deleting thumbs down, which I don't know how that's possible. Um, I know that it's been done before here on YouTube's behalf, but nonetheless, and oddly enough, they have it registered with the game as Inside, and Inside is possibly four years old now, and it's on every other platform, so it's odd that they would do that. But looking at fans' reactions, where is the gameplay? I see Microsoft never misses an opportunity to miss an opportunity. Keep deleting dislikes, Microsoft, that'll get you far. False advertising. Seriously, how did you guys make PS5's TED Talk look more interesting than this? Now, specifically in the past, episodes of Inside Xbox are usually just one giant commercial. They're very cringy. They have jokes that just don't land. And the people that are delivering the show, it's hit or miss with a lot of them. Now, this was done from home, and I understand the current situation of the world with everybody working at home and not having full access to the studios and everything. And the show, it's not like the show was put together poorly. It's the content that was in the show. Now, taking a look here over at Twitter, we've got what looks like some damage control trying to go on. They, Xbox, stressed that inside Xbox event would have gameplay, trailers, and sneak peeks, not just gameplay like many outlets and Y tiers YouTubers are saying. It was exactly what it was. Bright Memory, Second Extinction, The Ascent, Scarlet Nexus, Call of the Sea, and more had gameplay. No, they absolutely did not. And here, we're going to take a look at my stream, because this is what you see a lot of in this gameplay reveal. Game and console in development. All footage captured in-game and representative of expected Xbox Series X gameplay. Now... The industry is known for making false gameplay trailers. They're known for setting expectations high when it comes to games and then just dropping off a cliff. Anthem and EA, perfect example. Now going back and looking at this here, Aaron Greenberg, who is a part of Microsoft, had we not said anything and just shown many inside Xbox like we did last month, I suspect reactions might have been different. Clearly, we set some wrong expectations, and that's on us. We appreciate all the feedback and can assure you that we will take it all as a team and learn. The AC Valhalla trailer the other day said more gameplay would be revealed in that Xbox event, and it was literally seconds. They flat out lied, and there's no defending it. It was severely disappointing. They had all the momentum going, and they squandered it. Now, going over to the head, the creative director of Assassin's Creed, here's what he had to say. You rightfully expected to see more today. We have a long marketing campaign ahead of us. You will see in-depth gameplay and a lot more info about the game. Thank you for your excitement and passion. Be patient with us and be kind. It will be worth it. Now, I have no doubt. Assassin's Creed Origins and Assassin's Creed Odyssey are two of my favorite games. What you show, when you show an in-engine trailer, that that's not gameplay. That's just not. Sitting down, showing the controls, showing what the heads-up display looks like, that is gameplay. When you can clearly see somebody playing it. When you're just showing a CG trailer that's in-engine, I'm sorry, but maybe these people need to learn the definition of gameplay because changing the definition of gameplay to what they showed yesterday, that's that's not what it is. All right, now as an example, let's go ahead and take a look at the Assassin's Creed Valhalla gameplay trailer. 
got this here. We're gonna mute this just because I don't wanna get uh, copyright claimed again. Console and game in development, footage representative of expected Xbox Series X gameplay. So they're telling you right now that this is what they want it to look like, but it might not actually look like this. Now, while this does look good, and I do expect the game graphically to look like this because a lot of the other previous titles, like I said, Origins and Odyssey, have a very similar graphics engine and look pretty similar. This this isn't gameplay. This is, and then of course they're advertising the gold edition with the steelbook. This is an engine. This is clearly clickbait. Now, personally, I don't put a lot of stock in IGN anymore, but it seems that they've actually learned from Xbox and Ubisoft's blunder here with putting gameplay in their titles and in their tags. You can see right here, Assassin's Creed Valhalla official game engine trailer inside Xbox. And this one still has 3.8 thumbs downs, 15K thumbs ups. Again, for some reason they labeled it with inside, which I don't really understand since this is Assassin's Creed. I don't understand if maybe they're trying to advert people from coming and flooding in and giving it thumbs downs but you could see here one of the first comments 23 hours ago they actually renamed the trailer from gameplay trailer to game engine trailer let's take a look at the comments here nice save there as if the game is going to look much better than slightly improved ac odyssey ign not ubisoft first downgrade on the title lmao half the dislikes are gone too it was at 6k now it's at 3.5 so people are still saying that this trailer is getting dislikes removed. I mean, what is the difference? They have always been called gameplay trailers. Uh, the difference is when it's an in-engine trailer, that doesn't count as gameplay. It is exactly what it is as an in-engine trailer. I watched the Xbox event thinking we were getting gameplay. I think it's going to be next-gen graphically, so it should be better. Thanks for the info. Ubisoft, guys, are we going to have gameplay to show off today? Trailer, what is gameplay? So people are still kind of hounding them here for this. And it's interesting that IGN changed the title of the video to in-engine trailer. But good on them. I mean, at least they tried to correct their mistake. As we looked at the video previously, they, uh, they didn't change anything with Ubisoft or on the Xbox front. It would have been better, in my opinion, if they had changed it. And again, if you liked this event, if you liked watching this inside Xbox, then, you know, that's that's good on you. I'm not saying that the event itself was bad. It was just very misleading, and thousands of people are upset about this. So hopefully, when they get things set up for July, when they actually are supposed to show their first-party titles like Halo and whatever else the other 15 studios are working on, they actually show gameplay because I'm, I'm going to be honest. If they show anything what they've coined gameplay for Halo Infinite here in July, I'm going to be very upset. But how do you guys feel about the latest episode of Inside Xbox? Are you disappointed like the thousands of people, myself included, that watched it were? Or were you fine with it? Go ahead and let me know in the comments section down below. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. I upload content weekly. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. I've got my social media down there. And of course, it's always free to follow. And uh, support for the channel is down there as well, if that's something that you're into. But until next time, everyone, thank you all for joining me here today. And I'll see all of you in the next video.